So I promised a bit of a follow-up to my last video with my Frankenstein project with the uh, dual Boreases and the uh, crazy six core sub-zero coolant thing. So I've actually made a couple of changes since then. I've added another 5870 in Crossfire. So uh, along with the Ifinity Edition card, there's a regular 5870. I know the memory amounts don't match, but whatever. For the sake of, of my experiment here, I don't really need them to. So the good news is that I did manage to get some slightly better overclocking results out of this machine. The bad news is that uh, it wasn't as much different as I would have hoped. So the highest I was able to get to was about 4.25 gigahertz. And uh, that was without really doing any tweaking on the bus speed. So I'm basically just boosting up the multiplier, increasing the voltage until it's stable. And uh, so that was pretty much as high as I could go. But bearing in mind too that I'm never satisfied with an overclock until it's 100% stable. So I, unless it's running six instances of Prime and it's not failing, I'm not happy with it. So yeah, I was able to post and I was able to run limited benchmarks slightly higher, but to me that's not really worth anything. You can see my CPU temperatures are 26 degrees. It is hot in this room too. This thing kicks out a ton of heat, which brings me to something else that I wanted to mention last time, which is that um, I think I mentioned power consumption, but then I never actually showed you my power meter. So let me just show this to you. So this system is consuming at the wall over 900 watts under load. So I'm running that FUR benchmark as well as six instances of Prime 95. And so that's with two 5870s going, one six core CPU, two Boreas's. I mean, these two guys alone consume 400 watts. But I guess that's, that goes to show you actually that um, even a fairly beefy system, I mean, we're talking two 5870s, overclocked quad core. I haven't overclocked the video cards yet, mind you. But even with that kind of settings, you're only looking at about 500 watts from the wall, which means with an average 80 plus power supply, you're probably only looking at about 400 to 430 watts of uh, load power consumption on a fairly high end system. So thanks for checking out my video today on my overclocking results with the Phenom 2 1090T. And don't believe what uh, CPU Z tells you, it is a 1090T.